I have always wanted to do martial arts. When I was a kid, I had an affinity with Dragon Ball and Hong Kong martial arts movies. But it took me into my early 20s before I even tried any martial arts. I did a little bit of karate, some boxing, some kickboxing, but none of it really stuck. Fast forward to 2020. I was alone during a global pandemic and probably was in the worst mental and physical state of my whole life. I was a mess but I did watch a lot of films and I watched Yip Man with Donnie Yen for the first time. Not with Donnie Yen, this guy watched it with me. And I was immediately enamored by the Kung Fu style in the film. It's based on the real life teacher of Bruce Lee, Yip Man. Yip Man was a grandmaster of a Kung Fu style called Wing Chun. And when lockdown restrictions first eased up here in London, I joined a small Wing Chun class. I learned some of the first Wing Chun hand forms, but again, after about a month and a bit, I wasn't really feeling it. But I thought to myself, I'll give Wing Chun one more shot. I Googled for Wing Chun London and very quickly found a Sifu called Leo Ayong. And the thing that blew my mind immediately about Sifu Leo was that he was a fight choreographer for the film Ip Man. Not only did he work on the film, which inspired me to look into Wing Chun, but he was also trained by both of Ip Man's two sons, Ip Chun and Ip Ching. And he teaches in London. I also found this video of him online breaking a board that is just hanging on by a string. I knew that before I give up on yet another martial arts, I need to give this guy a shot. Sifu Leo, thank you for coming down today and teaching me a little bit about Wing Chun. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and, and how you got started in Wing Chun? Yes, of course. I started my Wing Chun journey in Hong Kong when I was about 16, which is about 25 years ago, with uh, Grandmaster Yip Chun and Yip Jing. So you actually worked on the Yip Man movie? Yes, I did. I did a choreographer for the fight scene in uh, the first Yip Man movie and also another two uh, Yip Man movies as well. You've been studying Wing Chun for 25 years, is that correct? Yes, you're correct. But um, I also do other martial arts as well. I've done uh, Muay Thai, I've done uh, Sistema, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Tai Chi. How did Wing Chun originate? So uh, Wing Chun is a uh, Southern China martial art. Southern China, the people, you know, they're a bit shorter. So uh, the martial art is usually is about uh, short range. So Wing Chun is a striking system. Wing Chun principles use less force to fight a bigger guy. Uh, Wing Chun is about a uh, line of striking, right? That sometimes they call the center line theory. If your arm is outside the shoulder line here, right? I can't punch you because you got the line. Yeah, you can defend yourself and you attack me if I have the line in here. So if you attack me, I don't mind because your punch is going this way, I'm going this way. So you can easily generate a lot of power to push me. You can easily do that, right? Yeah. But if I intercept your fist in here, it's not that easy because yeah. I can manipulate <laughs> your balance a lot easier. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Could you demonstrate a little bit on me right now? Yes, of course. You know, don't hold back. Okay. Just show me a few okay. real life applications of Wing Chun. That's perfect, no problem. If you punch, I go in, swing a punch to me, I can feel it, you know, I can redirect it, you know. Oh, okay, you can go this way, right? So if you punch me or whatever, or push me, whatever, you know, then I can manipulate. I can manipulate and turn him, you know? So to break the arm, you know, okay, I just, do you still want to punch me now? Right, he don't want to, so that's okay, then let him go then. So you can throw me a few punch, don't tell me. Outside or inside or down or up. Are you so, sure? Yeah, you of sure? course, of course. Yeah. You, you want me yeah. to just hold to... the fist, just give it a go. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. So now you can see that because my hand is in, in on this line, it's very easy for me to check your hand, right? Yep. You see? <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. The inside then, I go, I go here. If you take the inside route, I control the outside. Right in here. If you take the outside, outside, I take the inside. <laughs> also, <laughs> right, the same as well. You see in here. So if you kick me, right here, I protect my center line. I protect my center line, right? So I protect my center line. I can come in and then bring him down. And then we do the rest again. This one, okay, come in. <laughs> we start with exactly the same. His face is on the floor. In Wing Chun, there's this exercise that you do called Chi Sao? Yes, yes, it's called sticking hand. If I learn how to manipulate the balance, he can't, as, as any time he wants to attack, I just give it back to him. So I act, but after, oh, come here, come here, come here. After dealing with the pressure, then I can play him. For example, here, oh. yep, yeah, come back here, same thing. 
always his face is on the ground. He may like to kiss the ground, I don't know, but you know, he just likes to get there. I don't know why, you know? When he attack me, whatever, right? Oh, go, oh. oh. When he tried to attack me this hand, I deal with the pressure that I can do something on him. <laughs> In here, pressure, come, deal with it. Then things can move as the weight I want. Break the arm, break the head. <laughs> Before I actually filmed that first meeting, I actually attended two of his classes. So the following footage may show my lockdown belly at its peak. Please be nice in the comments. During that first class, I was awful. My footwork was awkward and all over the place. I had no balance. <laughs> I had no coordination. I looked like I'm not in control of my own body. The second class I went to, it was a similar story. I really struggled to get my head around some of the movements and again, just look at my feet. I just don't know how to move. I also very quickly was shocked how we weren't doing the traditional Wing Chun, you know, very square on stance with, with our hands down the center. Slowly I began to realize was that Sifu Leo was just integrating the, the best parts of other martial arts he has tried, Muay Thai and boxing and internal martial arts like Tai Chi. But the foundation of everything we learned is all hearted in the principles of Wing Chun. And to be honest, out of every martial arts teacher I've ever had, I really felt that the stuff that Sifu was teaching us is probably some of the most practical self-defense stuff that I've, I've ever learned. It felt super practical. <laughs> this is tell you, you can't assume things happen all the time, right? Keep your gut here and watch what's going on. Now he's learning, you see? <laughs> no, be careful. Yep, if you struggle, step me back. Then I can't hit you. The only thing that's really hard to get across on camera is the internal kung fu stuff, because it looks fake on camera. If I push you, you are strong. Because you got the gravity, I don't have the gravity. You got tension, I got tension, who's stronger, who win. But I release the power first. I release the pressure and then I go. Release the pressure, I go and I have my balance. So I cream in the energy. Then I got the power. It looks like I'm letting him push me around. But the thing about chi and internal kung fu is it's not magic. It's all about understanding body mechanics and controlling your body and your breath. Basically, it's just something you have to experience to fully understand. Deal with the pressure inside, release it. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and he got the power. But it's not magic or fake. Okay, right. So this is a Wing Chun wooden dummy, as you see in the movie. These like uh, simulate the... Exactly. The two hand, right, lower right, punch, right. you know, and the leg. You give me a punch, right? So I, wrote, I, I, I intercept the punch. I learned the rotation, right? To rotation from in to out, out to in to parry, basically, if you like. When you have something to go a partner, you can rotate, you can parry, block and strike. You block and turn a little bit, and then you can strike. Like that. Exactly. And then chop, and then the punch. Next one, the punch, punch. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then you can chop again. With this one? Yep, exactly the same hand, chop again, and then punch again. Excited. So this is sort of a continuous attack. After that meeting with Sifu, I carried on training for another two months. Going in for training around three times a week. I was very quickly noticing an improvement. My balance and footwork were getting a lot better. But after two months, there was one more thing which I really wanted to learn. I wanted to break a board. It's been now two months exactly. When I first came across you online, I saw a video of you where you break a wooden board just with like a, a one inch punch. That's something that I wanted to be able to learn to do. <laughs> if you're able to connect your body together, right, you get quite a lot of power. You can combine your full body together and they work at the same time, then of course you're able to produce more power, isn't it? So are you quite confident that I'm going to be able to break it using internal? Uh, I try my best to teach you and then it's... <laughs> I always tell my students, right, I only can show you there's a... For example, if you go to a mountain, right, I can show you there's a nice restaurant on the top of the mountain, but at the end of the day, you still have to walk yourself, right? <laughs> I can show you, I can guide you, I can even hold your hand to take you there, but you have to walk yourself, right? <laughs> uh, sink down a little bit, one leg forward, one leg backward, through the ground first, and then you're slowly standing up and push. Yep, don't, don't do this. Together, stand up first. That's it. That's it, well done. Mm -hmm. Relax your body and stand up and push. Yes! Okay. Relax and tense. Relax your hand and then tense it at the last minute. Yes! Wow, this is better now, yeah? Okay. Okay, so I think this is public, okay? Right, so give it a go, yeah? One, two, three, go! Whoa!
Okay, that was my first try and it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I was in disbelief in shock. No way. You know, it's a lot easier to do this way. It's great. You Can I try another? Yeah, of course, of course, of course. You think I'll be able to do with the string or no? A bit tough. I think that one is a bit tough. That felt too easy. <laughs> He had a lot of doubt that I could do it, but I had even more doubt. <laughs> so as opposed to holding it by some string, he decided to hold it like that, which is still a lot harder than holding it like that. I still had doubt that I could do it. <laughs> move your body first before you move the arm. Move. Yep, that's it, move your body first. Yes, that's it, yeah? So we give it a go. Two, three. <laughs> it's tough, isn't it, this one? Yeah, so do you want to do it like this? Do this Ah, oh, almost, almost. This one is quite hard, I think. Do you want the easy one? Let me, let, let, let me, let me try again. <laughs> this one is quite tough, isn't it? It's hard. Yeah, it's hard. How do you do it? It's hard, isn't right, it? Let, 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 me, let me try one more time. Okay, okay. I'm determined. I was able to do it. Not too bad, not too wow. bad. Well done. Oh really my god, good. I'm sweating so much. <laughs> I've definitely shown that video to a lot of my friends since pulling it off. That video as a gift would be like great for my Tinder profile. Or don't hit back. Originally my plan was to meet up with Sifu Leo just for this YouTube video. I didn't plan on filming over the course of two months, but it's genuinely something which I've really enjoyed. Carrying on my Wing Chun training is definitely something I want to pursue for a long time. I feel so much healthier mentally and I also feel more alert. Physically, I feel the strongest I have ever been. So good. My hair has also changed colour, maybe super sane, I don't know. But yeah, I think this class has done a lot of good for me. And I've almost lost my lockdown belly. So Wang Chun has been one of the greatest gifts in my life. It not only helped me physically, but also mentally and emotionally forced me to stabilize my mind and be very mindful and intentional. Sifu Leo is definitely by far the best martial arts teacher I have ever had. He's very passionate when he teaches, but he's also very humble and a very funny guy. If you live in London and want to give his class a go, there are details down in the description. He does classes every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Your first class will be free. Just reach out and tell him that you want to try it out and Mention me, of course. Also, we'll get the chance to punch me in the face, which is a pretty good incentive. Oh, I turned in the face. It's bad. No. Right? But if you can't make these classes and or you just want to improve your general fitness and training at home, then the lovely folks at Gallant Sports have got you covered with 10% off their punch bags. They gifted me this sick punch bag with a dragon on it. And I love dragon. You can fill up the base with water or sand if you want extra stability. It's good for both punches and kicks, but do not use it on a slippery floor or else you'll end up like me. Oh my God. Before I end this video, I just want to stress that I genuinely feel the healthiest and strongest that I have ever felt in all of my life. So much so that I'm gonna challenge Logan Paul to a fight. That's two YouTubers, one vlogged a dead body, and then was uncancelled for spending a lot of money on Pokemon cards. I'm waiting for you, Logan. Looking forward to hearing from you. Kind regards, Ray Roberts. Here. <laughs> Don't break the law, kids. <laughs> always get filming permission and alert the police. And always have a random Armenian tool who use his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs>